Hey there YouTube, Superbrain AK here. And well, this what I got in the mail today. This uh Lito Kala L I I dash two six zero which is a lithium ion charger, discharger, and tester. Right now I've got two pretty crappy cells and I I just found one day. <laughs> so Really not a good proper test, but yeah, I'll just test them, see if they're terrible, then get rid of them. And so yeah, this guy came from China. Here's the uh, box, came in, a little bit squished in the uh, e-package from eBay, but let's that. Fairly chinglish instructions, but eh, sort of legible if you are a native English speaker. Uh, here's the other packaging. The power supply came in there. The this 12 volt uh, to bullet adapter. It's got a little LED, which is kind of interesting. This uh, cable is a pretty cheap kind, but this the power supply's cable is fairly decent. The only thing is the the bullet connector, this sort of like plastic part that separates the positive from the negative, is fairly cheap and that bullet connector the plastic is sort of back away from it so it's sort of sticking out in a bump but that doesn't really hinder performance at all but yeah this this wire is fairly cheap kind of. I've seen that before and doesn't work too well it's fairly stiff and just yeah don't like it but yeah it Probably works perfectly fine. Um, this power supply is about the same as one I got from my BC700. That's right, right? Yeah, from Lacrosse Technology, also from China. But it's about, they almost look exact identical same sort of configuration, the uh, vent holes on the bottom there and yeah they uh, have a power supply made by K-Tech with a uh, dual wire and this has a uh, circular wire uh, yeah um, See, I'm just uh, discharging and testing these batteries here. These are crappy ones. And so yeah, here's the display. You press mode for each uh, channel, so they're both very independent. Uh, you can charge in this side, discharge in the other side, and whatever, two different capacities. And yeah, the display, nice, well lit, and shows your milliamp hours, that's how much you put out or discharge from it, or if you're charging it, that's how much it put in, um, how long it's been going. That is a sort of resistance measurement of internal resistance for the battery, which is sort of it says MR, which in the reviews online says where they were properly testing it with a multimeter, scope, whatever. And uh, that's not actual resistance in ohms. That's just a general figure that, can, that you can use to rate your batteries from least wear to the most wear. And these 
having 82 and 98, they're pretty terrible. And I think in good ones like, or well, really good ones like 20 or less. So the current, it can charge at 500 milliamps to an amp. So there's two settings, 500 milliamps or an amp. That's for like really high capacity batteries. Um, and then it can only discharge at 500 milliamps, which is what I'm doing right now. 500 milliamp discharge on both of them. And reading 3.7 volts. And the review online, I'll definitely post in the description. Uh, it says it's got a good charge, uh, discharge curve, good uh, constant current, constant voltage uh, curve, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's discharging, and it's fairly warm in some places, but not enough to burn you. But <laughs> I don't know if these batteries are going to explode or not, but... <laughs> Then I might have to get another. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, instruction manual, it's in Chinglish. It's like that one and my Tenergy over here, you remember that review? But yeah, it's kind of understandable, but definitely the worst Chinglish out of all three. <laughs> but. If you read the review, he'll, he'll tell you how to use it. It's fairly simple. You put the battery in, it'll uh, be blinking the uh, uh, current, and then you can press mode to select 500 milliamps or an amp, and then it'll start charging automatically if you just let it sit. And then you can hold uh, the mode button for three seconds, then it'll switch into discharge mode and then you can set the current for the charge afterwards and yeah that's all I've got time for I only have 30 seconds on the uh, silly camera and yeah so that's this charger I'll be definitely charging it with or testing all these batteries that I've gotten here and soon to be these ones after they finish balancing after 680 mix minutes <laughs> so yeah that's a wrap guys see you next time